Hello out there. It's a late start tonight. Very late. Uh, but I am here. For a little bit. Probably two hours? Two and a half, maybe? Somewhere around there. I'm thinking to like two-ish. Two something. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. I am gonna just be doing some mindless filling of space. Um, I started it last time, but I didn't get very far because I just got way too tired. I don't love what I did, so I'm thinking I might mix out, like, some lighter variants of purples to use. Um, just because it's so dark. Maybe it needs to be dark, though. It seems a little too dark. But I could just be... I could just be being a little critical of it. So maybe I should just press on. Because I am going to do detailing over the soil. I'm not quite sure what yet. I have a vague vision of like white detailing on top of it. That hopefully is very graphic and pops. But it's a vague mental notion right now. Anyway. I am here. I've got rain sounds playing. And I am also listening to my own music. That you can follow along to on a Discord, Spotify, Last FM. Exclamation point each. And you shall receive links. Discord will tell you down to the second, though, so it is the most accurate. But Last FM is updating. Spotify is down to the song. And I could tell you the playlist on there specifically. Um, yeah. So I'm just doing fills tonight. Just really chilling and filling. We'll just hop right to it. I'm going to keep Cam down for a bit. Just because I, you know, just chilling tonight. <laughs> I might vaguely talk. I might just kind of be getting into a zone. Who knows? The paints are all still quite pliable and usable, so I feel okay. We got a good selection here. Things we can work with. And uh, we're just ready to go. I'm thinking of vaguely trying to go a little bit lighter in general. Using more of the light colors. Just kind of dabbing in some darker ones. But it's tough. Because I want things to look good, you know? And varied and clean. All that. All right. I missed that little spot the other night. I was just zonked when I I lost my steam. I just really lost it. Forgot that one little area.
there's no way I have enough paint for all of this, but hopefully I can at least make it to the halfway mark. I'm just going to have to really, I don't know. I should just suck it up and make more of this like darkish purple that I'm really trying to stretch out to like a ridiculous degree. It's sad because if I played this music on stream, it just would make things so much easier. I think I might use this reddish color for some of these grasses. in some fluorescent pink to really make it just sizzle. I do like that actually. <laughs> This color plays well with the rest, so I knew I made it for a reason, just didn't know what yet.
All right. It pops better over like the orange for sure, which I'm almost out of. I don't have much of that left. with that I think I need a little more like a pink pop in some of these grass bits though because it's just pretty all right I can't hyper focus because I need to blend in the purple around that before it all dries so let's just quick fill uh close to and then i can splice in a little bit of white maybe it's tinge of pink over here lots and lots of purple The white is so necessary to dapple into this because it turns so flat without that like white. It's like I have to quick blend it in. Otherwise it it just all homogenizes into a singular color. Like the moment I start tinkering with an area. Okay, we're not frozen. I worry, you know? I worry. Cameras be freezing. I don't think I'm going to add a little bit of blue down here. It really make like a bluish purple area. Just because I can, you know, whatever. Why not vary the colors within the soil a little bit? Why not... I'm being way more, like, loose with the white that I'm dabbing in, though. There's just no way to make this quicker for me. It's a constant series of back and forth in colors. 
until I feel like I've gotten a, a nice texture. I do like the fiery red pops of grass though. Oh my gosh, all the puppies are so cute. Oh my god. I keep forgetting I have this like super pale lavender to work with. I'm just going to try and not focus obsessively on like the perfect blended. Because oh, the thing is, I want things to be slightly blended, but also kind of like dappled. To give a texture because so i'm going to go back over this but it's like i want it to be dappled but i don't want there to be a ton of texture on the surface necessarily because i want to be able to paint over it very smoothly so I'm that's why i'm using very little paint to achieve it also because i'm just so used to working with very little amounts of paint and blending things very small and delicate like this. All right. Now that I've filled in like more of that general area, I am not as like apprehensive about it. When I just had like this upper portion done, it still looks a little on the dark side, but it's not as like jarring to me now. My opinion has shifted since the last time I sat down with this. Hey, got a queen. How you doing? It's just me and some rain. Um, I'm listening to music, but I have to do it not on the stream. It's displaying on my Discord or my last FM. With the playlist available on Spotify. Just because I don't want to get flagged. <laughs> but I'm also 100% over the video game music. 
But I hope you're doing well. Happy Saturday night. <gasps> Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I started super late tonight, but it's all good. We'll see how much I can get done. My goal is to just do as much of this purple ground as I can take in one sitting. So we'll see how far I get. No, I don't even have a goal. I'm just doing. Have you checked out Chill Hop? They give streamer friendly lo-fi. I haven't. I honestly haven't looked into a lot of streaming like musical resources. I should, but I'm so lazy. Also, I'll pop myself up for a second. I'm kind of in and out of cam, but mostly out. Hi. <laughs> I haven't uh, looked into that, but I was a little bit bad a couple weeks ago and played music on stream, and I got like super paranoid about it. No copyright lo-fi. I'll definitely... I know there's good stuff out there. It's just like when I'm in a painting zone, I love to listen to, like, playlists that I've made and just get deep into it. But... I also want to stream it. So I'm conflicted, you know? Let's do, like, a softer pink in this. I've got all these playlists, you know, just sitting on my Spotify. Also, I'm a big baby. Hey, Alex. You know, uh, Gutta Queen, I was working on my Animal Crossing Island last night, actually. I hopped on for a couple hours. I've been messing around with some stuff. I won't get rid of my old dream island, though, until this one's like 100%. So, so we'll see. How long that takes me. I'm going to guess like at least a year. I have been doing like some stuff off stream though. The VOD, I think I had to like private one of my, the VOD that I played copyrighted music on, but I think the other VOD is up. But it's, you know. Just me wandering around in circles for a couple hours. No big deal. <laughs> no biggie. But I have made some, some choices for the layout. And I think it's working so far. It's different. It's a lot of road space now. I added some sidewalks, select sidewalks across the entire island. There's a nice like upper ground moment right when you get off on the airport. I just wanted to make the bottom half of the town a little more dynamic, basically. So far, I think it's succeeded. But things are a little more like disparate and kind of fragmented and spread out than they were. Things were a little more like in a line, in a row, in the old version of the town. This one's more like clumped. 
I guess would be the way to describe it. I'm going to do some pink in this little area to distinguish from the little bush thing that I have right here, which I'll do in maybe like a bluish color. Oh, that was too dark. It's fine. I can still work with that. It's fine. But yeah, if you want to see, here, I can just, I'll do my Discord thingy. Discord will show you exactly what song I'm listening to. Spotify has the playlists. I'm listening to my, what is it? Fuzziness for springtime playlist. I love this color palette. It's really working for me. Man, I had to end up. So I stayed late at work one day this week. I think it was like Wednesday. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday. I was like, I just had to stay till close, which was fine. Then the other coworker that was supposed to work with me this morning, like, was sick. And I was supposed to ha only have like a half day today. I know it's like, you're complaining about working a full day. But I was supposed to get out of there at like 12. And instead, I had to stay till 4. And it was such a nice day. It was kind of excruciating. I was pretty cranky when I got home just because I was like, ah, my day. Even though I, I originally would have worked till four anyway. But because I left late one day, I was like super looking forward to that. Because I also have a three-day weekend right now. It's the start of my three-day weekend. So... Despite that, I'm feeling much better now. But, you know. I just wanted to go home at noon and just chill. Maybe lay out in the sun for like an hour. Waiting for my husband to get home. You know. Which means I probably, my body wants vitamin C or something. <laughs> it's probably a little vitamin C deficient. If I'm like, you should go out in the sun. Wouldn't surprise me. But I should probably just get some more vitamins. As well. Vitamins just seem so excessive though. Did a full shift yesterday, today, tomorrow, and Monday. You're off till Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, having to work on Sundays. <laughs> I don't miss that. I hated that so much. I mean, I still hate it, but I don't actually have to do it now, so. But... The memories remain. Yeah, this sh the shop is never the paint store is never open on Sundays, so it's a guaranteed same day off every week. It's truly great.
I love it so much. Because at my other job, my old job, I used to work basically every Sunday for, I don't even know how many years, a couple of years. A while. It was the Sunday guy. Yeah, there's no like, I don't know. I'm just kind of randomly blending some things here and there. I feel like there's no formula to this at all. That's going to need a line, though, to define that. This is like really mindless kind of in a way what I'm doing. It's so, I don't know. I don't have to, it's, I mean, I kind of, I have to think as I'm going, but it's not, it's, I guess tedious is a better word to describe it, but it's not like stressful, I guess. Look at this little baby down here taking shape. Uh. I have a good amount of this, like, red paint for this grass. I did want a little more color pops up front, so. Like the mushrooms, this grass. I don't know what color I want these stones. They're like little stone, miniature stone pillars kind of spaced about. There's one here. They have like a hole in them. Two there. One here. One here. Where that like the tip of my brush is. There's three back here by the base of this tree. Um, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's two up here. At the base of that small tree. There's ten. Just like there's ten dogs.
All right, I'm stalling. <laughs> Looking and stalling. All right, here we go. We're back in it. I do that a lot when I paint. Well, I'll just like look and stare. It's it's like a stalling tactic, but it's also I'm like constantly assessing what I just did, looking at things I did like five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, in case it looks a little weird or off to me. It's like that all the time. I gotta make more of these colors, man. And they're just too... They're like so thick. I'm losing the smoothness that I, I'm needing from them. It's just so hard to make the exact same color over again at such a small scale. It's like never going to be exact, obviously, but it's like I want to get close. Yeah, I gotta I gotta tinker with the palette and try and recreate some of these. This could go really bad, but they're it's, they're just too gummy. I can't work with them. Um, I want to remake this purple kind of in the center. It's such a pretty color. I mean, it's more of a reddish purple, and then I have like my more bluish purple right beside it, which has like a grayer cast. I think I'll be able to stick with this darkish blue color. It's gummy, but there's a lot of it. So I can like water, maybe water it down a little bit to reconstitute it. All right, how am I gonna do this? I have to leave part of it like not touched so I know what to mix to. I think it, I don't remember how I made it. That's the problem. It's like I made it oh, maybe a week and a half ago, and that was so long ago. I see some dark red, violet, and blue, so that's probably these two. So that would be so flat red violet. Looks like a just a small bit of ultramarine blue, just so it's not super red purple. And then obviously I added some white. Um, and I may have added like a tinge of pink though, just to give it a more vibrant cast. So I'm going to pull the fluorescent pink too. I have no idea if this is going to be that close, but we have to try. So that was my purple. My red violet. We'll do like the tip of the knife in ultramarine blue. It really... I doubt it had that much, so I'm just going to scrape like the tiniest bit off of the lid. 
the tip of the knife there. Put that right beside it. And then same thing with the pink. I'll do about that much. Because I add the blue just to keep it away from going too red. But the pink is like, even though it's a fluorescent pink, it kind of is, once it mixes in with things, it cools them down, which is interesting. At least to me, I perceive it as like it cooling them down. So I'm going to do the same amount of pink, basically, as I did of the blue. Just a tip on the bit of the palette knife there. And then I'll need a hefty amount of white to make all this work. Where's the... I've used almost this whole tub. Doesn't even sound like it's shaking up properly. Mm, there's still enough to use. See, I kind of have to like start with a little bit of white like that and then see if it needs to go lighter or darker or what. So I don't want to just like make a whole bunch or add a whole bunch of white and have it be this super light thing that I have to keep adding color to. This needs a little more of the it's actually not bad. It needs a little more of the fluorescent pink, though, for sure. I'm seeing that. This came out a little closer to what I mixed as my cool purple, actually. So, yeah, it needs a little more of that fluorescent pink. Came out gr a little grayer looking. That pink will give it a little more life. Oh, I'm like mixing thick chunks into it. It's going to be a disaster. But yeah, it definitely needs a little more fluorescent pink. So let's just add another tiny, tiny bit. Just another like tip of the palette knife. The annoying thing is I have to, like, clean the palette knife every time I do something. Oh, I just got hot pink all over me. It's fine. Maybe a little more of the red violet too, because this didn't. Well. Yeah. Because it's like slightly not dark enough too. And the fluorescent pink's not going to darken it. Like super quickly. It's going to give it more like saturation. So, but it's closer. That actually did help. Gave it like a warm cast. Yeah, it's definitely warmer. It's like I rub it on the... Yeah, it's warmer for sure. Okay, so I need just a little bit more red-violet, I think. 
But this, the red violet is so powerful of a pigment. It's going to like drastically shift it. Good night, Gutta Queen. Thank you for being here. I hope work goes well tomorrow. Sleep tight. All right, we're just doing another like tip. Tip of the palette knife, but with the purple. And I do believe this will get us much closer. I think it'll be like close enough to work with, especially since I'm just kind of like dappling and messing around with it in general. I'm also gonna mix in some of the gunky paint just into it, which will help blend it in. And we're pretty good. The old paint's a little bit, I mean, it's a little dried out, so I think it's also kind of affecting it. I gotta remember, it's also gonna dry a little bit darker than what I'm seeing right now. I think I'm gonna just keep it like this. That's pretty close for me. There's so much paint that I wipe off, but yeah, so like the first iteration was the bit mixed in with that white smear. So you can see like it's cooler. It's got like a bluer feel and then the, the closer one. Oh, hey, Haley. The closer one is on top. It's like a redder purple. And now when you look at the puddle itself, it's pretty close. I don't see a difference. So we're good. That'll help us get through a little longer tonight. It's pretty good. Thank you. kind of what I do at work now, so it's a good practice. This is my job. M matching colors that are right in front of me. <laughs> the little face on the sun. Maybe. I keep adding these white dabs in here and it's just like too much, but it looks so flat without them. I add them in, I take them out, I add them in again. It's a vicious circle. I want some pink down here. That'll help. Add a little area of interest. I did not get a tan yet. Yeah, it's the light. <laughs> I mean, this is the arm that I put out the window when I'm driving and I, I have no air conditioning. So that's probably like my left arm would be the one that hangs out my driver's side window. There is a slight difference. So the answer is yes, question mark.
I hope you find this answer satisfactory. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Do the lavender instead of the white. See if that helps soften without going too stark. Give me good dapples. I need good dapples. It's so funny though, yeah, because like my lighting never changes. The light literally stays in the exact position. Oh, I unplug it so I never alter the lights that are on. But yet my arm does seem to appear darker today. And I didn't adjust it, anything in OBS or the camera, nothing. I don't know. I don't even know. I Oh my god, I'm listening to... This is like... I know Dancing on My Own is like... The iconic Robin song. But Honey... Is her best song. I probably will have to recreate this like navy blue right here at some point tonight though. It's just so thick. It's a nice blending agent, I guess. So I'm trying to just cut it in here and there. It gives a nice variation to like the color so it's not so flat. Look at this cute little baby that's running after the ball. Let it soak up into the flesh. And the waves. Sorry, I, I can't. I, I love this song. Even though you can't hear it. I'm sorry. <laughs> not sorry enough to not listen to it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can listen along with a few sh easy steps. Haley, you already follow me on Spotify. It'd be super easy. But I know you, you are doing your thing, so. Hang out with your aunt and uncle and mom. We went to the this park place thing. One hour and 50 minutes drive. Oh, shit. One way? They brought their dog and he kept farting in the car. <laughs> Aw, gassy dogs. Cute, but also gross. That poor gassy baby. He has not totally mastered the it. They. That pup has not mastered their bowels yet. That poor thing. It's rough out there. See, like that was a huge chunk of like gunk paint. 
Too much. Too much. Let's use some lavender for blending. Dog loves eating McDonald's french fries. Aww. McDonald's french fries are fucking irresistible. As someone who's not even really a fan of McDonald's, they're, the fries are ridiculous. When they're fresh. Caveat. They must be fresh. Yeah, oh yeah, when they're cold, they turn into, like, chalk. Fucking nasty, but when they're fresh. And salty. They have to be, like, super salted. But when they're right, they're right. I'll have to put a little shadow under this pup. Thoughts on McDonald's Coke? They mess it it lost something when they switched to these plastic cups they've been using recently. I know styrofoam's terrible for the environment, but something about Coke in a styrofoam cup's just better because it stays cold longer and the ice remains unmelted longer. I reuse styrofoam cups for like at least a couple days after I get a, a drink in styrofoam. Usually it's more like a week. But I also like rinse it out the moment I run out of Coke. Or whatever, whatever drink was originally inside of it. Usually Coke. You love McDonald's iced coffee. I've just never been a coffee guy. I've honestly not really tried that much either, so. And what if? Oh my god, there it's fully outlined. McDonald's iced coffee French vanilla tastes really good. I'll take your word for it. Literally never had it in my life. Not once, not twice. Definitely not thrice. Oh, the orange is like totally dried up. I'm going to lose all these colors tonight. It's like the longer I use it while I'm painting, the more the colors dry out like on the palette. You know?
All right, pretty. You know, you need to limit how much. That is very wise and responsible. It's like Coke in the U.S. is just like high fructose corn syrup. Or really, I guess, in any, most places. But it's like my one major sugar vice is Coca-Cola. Which is a lot of sweet to ingest. So I really don't eat a lot of candy in general. So I think that helps me. Mexican Coke has sugar cane. It's so fucking good. It's also like ungodly expensive. It's like two, sometimes three dollars a bottle here if you get it in a like a quick stop or a, a restaurant. Too much. But it is really fucking good. You don't really like sweets, you'll have chocolate more. I'm like, I mean, obviously I like chocolate, but I'm not like a chocoholic or anything. Yeah, I think this is the right general color for the soil. It does feel a little homogenized, which is like a little flat, a little very similar to everything else in like a a zoomed out sense, you know, when you're up close looking at it, you're like, yeah, those are different colors, but look at it from across the room and it's just kind of all melds together kind of thing. You really love sun chips and Taki. Um, what is my like absolute favorite snack food? I go through phases. Honestly, I mean, when we go to the grocery, like, grocery store, I snack the fuck out in, like, the week after we go. Then it just tapers off. Um, I don't snack that much. I get the munchies really bad when I stay up late and stream now, but... I mostly just try to suppress the munchy urge. I think this is a good resting point for my my hand. What a brief moment here. I think I might take like a little fiber or less. This, uh, I just, I know y'all aren't listening to the music I'm listening to, but I just love it. I just love it. I love really like glitchy production in music. So stuff that sounds like skittery and like very bleep bloop, like digital synthy, but with like a airy kind of note about it. I don't know how to describe it. The song I'm listening to has got like, I do love Sophie. Rip. Rip Sophie. It's so fucking sad. How fucking tragic. Yeah, Sophie's good. I have to be in the mood for Sophie though, because it's very high energy. I'm definitely more of like on the low inner low end energy spectrum, like in terms of the music I generally consume. Uh Sophie's a trans electronic musician who passed away was it 2020 i think it was 2020 they were 
the music it's very experimental very like avant-garde pop but like heavy crunchy drum and bassy in a way very like genre bending um just it's very out there i love the music but your boyfriend loves dj and edm <gasps> nice I listen to a lot of ambient these days. Ambient, electronica, um, some singer-songwriter type stuff, like Sprinkled In. Um, it's been a lot of, like, I've been very slowly transitioning to, like, more and more ambient music over the past, like, four or five years. It's like a slow burn transition from general like electronica and beat driven stuff to like ambient yeah i'm gonna let this dry for a sec but i did a nice little portion i've been like okay i got this big little big little stretch there do this these little tiny fragments Who's been on a recent... Oh, Charlie XCX, yeah. Charlie XCX is pretty intense, too. It's not like... Obviously, it's way more marketable than, like, Sophie would have ever been, but... Oh, I was going to look up Sophie's date of passing... Oh, it was like right at the beginning of 2021. Yeah, it's sad because they were, there's going to be so much good music emerging from that artist. And now there just won't be. Um, I think I want to take a quick break. I'll be back in like a couple minutes, maybe like five minutes at most. I'm just going to stretch. I always encourage you stretch your legs, get a refill, get up, do some back spine twists. Um, you know, Move around a little bit, stretch your legs, arch your back, curl your toes, um, get a refill, go to the bathroom, take a little time for yourself. I'll be right back, y'all. Let me see. Here, I'll put on like an additional musical track real quick it'll be video game music but i'll just leave the rain continuing to run let me go to my game music stuff oh you know sophie turner who married <laughs> joe jonas from jonas brothers fair that makes sense this is so you know, Sophie that would come to mind within the pop music zeitgeist. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's muted. Good. Um, let's pick like a long one. I'm thinking this. Once this shit ad goes away. There we go. All right, we'll unmute this tab. I'll be back in a few minutes, y'all. Enjoy the, the music while I'm gone. If an ad pops up after this YouTube video and transitions to another one, I'm so sorry if I don't make it back in time, but enjoy.
I am back. <laughs> Sorry, that took a little longer than I expected. Um, but I am back. Hey, Drac. <laughs> and enjoy the BRB. <laughs> back, I'm here. Uh, we'll do some more purple... Dappled, uh... Ground cover. That's what we'll do. Um, it really does look significantly darker when it dries. Jeez. It just worries me. I mean, it's mostly fine, but... Because I'm going to go over it anyway. I'm thinking I want these, like, kind of in my style lines. Like these ribbony, path-defining lines. That kind of snake downward on both sides. Oh no, the camera froze while I was gone. Love that. <laughs> it fucking froze. Why? Why me? Um, I gotta end the stream for a brief, brief second. I'll be right back, y'all. I just gotta, like, reboot the camera. BRB.